スーパーマリオブラザーズ2はさすがディスクで面白い下手くそむかっとくるけどやれやれやればやるほどディスクシステムルケイフォーストーツデイズ・レトロ・バッン・ FDS ・オファミコン・ディス・システム・セット・ガード・フォー・ウィンドウズ・ PC。If you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation setup guides like this one you're watching today. Just means you'll get notified every time I release a setup guide and it also helps my channel out too. So if you follow my channel and you've already got notifications, you'll know that I released a N64 or 64DD setup guide for Retro Bat today. And so I thought to myself let's actually do the add-on or expansion for the Famicom or Nintendo NES as we call it here in the West. So what we're going to do today is get you up and running with this. So we're going to need a BIOS file and the BIOS file for FDS is going to be thisys.rom. Now what I'm going to do with this BIOS file is just make a copy of that and go into my RetroBat directory. So if I right click on that shortcut, open file location, I'm going to find a BIOS folder here. If I go inside of there, I'm just going to paste it loosely in there. So it's not going to go into any of the folders. And if I just come back out, we're also going to find a ROMs folder just here. And within here, you're going to find a folder called FDS. Now I've got some FDS games here, and these are in .zip file extensions that are zip folders. These work fine with the RetroWatch Core I'm going to be showing you in this setup guide. If you've got .fds files like this just here, that's also fine. They're going to work fine as well. So with these few games I've got, I'm going to just make a copy of these and put them into my RetroBat ROMs FDS folder. And that's all we need to do from here. So what I'm going to do next is open up RetroBat. Okay, so if you've done this correctly, when you open up RetroBat, you'll see what I see. So family computer, this system. If we go inside here, the first thing I'm going to do is just scrape some artwork. If I press on my start button, I'm going to go to Scraper and then just go down to Scrape Now. Okay, Scrape and Finish, Update Game List to Apply Changes. Just go to Game Settings, Update Game List, and yes. And here we go. So we got some games just here, but we can't see the cover art too well. So if this happens to you and it gets on your nerves a little bit, all we need to do is just go to main menu, user interface settings, and providing on the theme you're using, normally if you go to theme configuration, what we can do is go to game list view style and normally change it from here. We'll then be able to see the cover art or preview videos or whatever. So I'm going to select game carousel, and if I press B on my controller to come out, and here we go, that's a little bit better now. So I'm going to open up Bubble Bubble first, and the reason I'm going to do this is because some disk system games or FTS games will ask you to swap sides of the disk. And to do this normally is your trigger button, so your left trigger and your R trigger. If I just open up Bubble Bubble, Okay, so here we go, set B side. So I've just pressed my right trigger button on my Xbox controller, and that's just ejected side A. And if I press my left trigger, it will then say side B selected. And then if I go back to my right trigger, it's then inserting side B.
Okay, so that's an exception. Most FDS games that I've tested for this setup guide don't have the issue of swapping the side B, but I can't say that for all FDS games. For example, if I open up another game, I'm going to open up Super Mario Brothers. And I'm also going to remind you, because these are running from a RetroWatch core in the background, if you press space, you can actually fast forward the games. And there we go. And if you're new to Retroback, we can actually mess around with the video settings here. So generally, if you press your select button to view options, just go to advanced system options. If we first go to shader set, we can actually apply something like a curvature shader. If I just apply this one and go to decorations, if I go right to the bottom here, you'll see the FDS system on the side just here, a Famicom system. We can actually take that away and replace it with something like arcades 1980s or if you don't fancy any of those decorations just go to none and we go to game aspect ratio if you want a full screen just go down to full and press a to enable that if we go to integral scaling this is already selected to on what this is going to do is just blur out some of the pixelation but i think in terms of 8-bit games that pixelation gives us its charm Vertical sync, I always say put this to yes, that will eliminate any screen tear. And providing we're using this RetroWatch core, which for this system is FCEUMM, we've actually got the ability to link this up with Retro Achievements. Which you can do just here Retro Achievements Hardcore Mode. If you've got Retro Achievements, remember it's free to sign up with Retro Achievements. Just enable this, turn it on for a hardcore mode. And if you're getting any issues with a black screen where you maybe can hear sound in the audio but you can't see any picture, just go to Drivers Video and just set this to something else like Vulcan. Normally that clears up the issue. We also got audio here, so if you get any issues with your audio output, then consider swapping over from X Audio to something else like SDL. But everything's running fine on auto for me. Now, with those new settings applied, I've taken away decoration, I've applied a shader. I'm actually going to open up a real classic arcades game. I'm going to go for a Galaxian. And that's it for today's RetroBat and Famicom Disk System setup guide. So if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content. Also be sure to check out earlier's setup guide for the N64DD. That's pretty cool too. And just like FDS, the 64DD was also an add-on for the original hardware. Anyways, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time... Stay retro.